Hi, this is Dave Philippi, and now I want to show you a few of the basic draw commands in FabCAD. We're going to go over the line command, the rectangle command, the arc command, and the circle command. So we'll start with the line command. I'll click that, and at the command line it says specify first point. Whenever you see the word point, that's your point finger, which is usually your left mouse button. So I pick a point, and then it says specify next point. Well, if I want to go straight, I want to click on this little setting here, ortho. Okay, and you notice that it draws the line straight at 90 degrees. When you ever need to send your kid to get their teeth straightened, you send them to an orthodontist. Ortho means straight. The other thing I want to turn on is this dynamic mode here, which will come in handy, particularly when we're doing rectangles. So. As you notice, you see at the cursor, the length is being displayed there. But I don't need to do it manually. I can just type in how long I want this. So say I want to make this line 56 inches long. I hit F56 and then hit Enter or right click on my mouse. And that line is 56 inches long. And then I change the direction of the mouse to which way I want to go. And say I want to make it 50 inches here. So type in 50 and Enter. And then I right click and I'm done. Okay. So now, if I want to draw a line on an angle, I go to the line command. And at this point, I will turn off ortho and I'll pick a point. And then I'll make sure that the dynamic input is on. And I just type in the length. So I say I type in 88 and hit the tab key. And then I type in the degrees. So I'll say 36 and hit enter. And hit enter again. So that line is 88 inches long at 36 degrees. Let's check it. So I'm going to go to these dimension commands. I'm going to do a line, right click, pick this line here. And 88, 7 foot 4. Okay. I'm going to draw a line from the end point here. I'm going to put ortho back on. And I'm going to check the angle. So I just go over here and I go angular and I'll pick this line here and this line here. And it's 36 degrees. So it drew it just the way I wanted to. Now, to do a rectangle, I'll click on that and pick a point. There's a couple of ways of getting the, the size of a rectangle. I can click dimensions down here and then it says specify the length of the rectangle. So I'm going to specify, say, 45 and hit Enter. And then it says specify the width, and I'll say 60. OK, and then I just hit Enter. And then left click when I got my rotation right, and now I've got my rectangle. I can also draw a rectangle using dynamic input and type in. You see at the point where it says 1 foot 9, I can type in say 45, hit the tab key, and I get a second dimension input here, and I'll say 78, and hit enter. Okay, so the width is first and the height is second. So let's check that. 45 by 6 foot 6, which is 78. Okay, so that's how you draw rectangles and draw lines. Uh, I'm going to draw another line on this side here. Let's see, I forget what that length was. So let's get a, I'm going to pick 4 foot 2, which would be 50. So I'm going to draw a line here. I can also type in 4 foot 2 and enter. Okay. Now, say for instance, I want to make an arched gate, and I've got this two sides, and now I have the bottom. And I want the arch to be a foot taller than the lines on the side. I could draw a line, and I've turned on my snap mode here. And what this is, I have automatically, I've checked different snaps that I want to automatically pop up when I'm near this near near the air so up at the end point or the midpoint you notice that these different snaps pop up you can also go up to the top here and pick the snap from here so
I'm going to draw a line from the midpoint and that side lines were 50 inches so I want to make it a foot taller that would mean I'd make it uh, 62 and then I go if I want to make the arc I'll draw an arc from the end point here to the end point there to the end point there and now I have my arch top gate I can erase this line now if the customer wants a little bit different size arc you can just click on this grip and you can adjust the arc any way you want circle I click circle and I pick the center point I can either hit radius or diameter so say if I want to hit D for diameter I type in the diameter of the circle see it's 36 inches in diameter I click enter and I'll have a 36 inch diameter circle and we can check that we go to the diameter dimension and pick this circle here and it's 36 inches long so the key to the draw commands is to first of all pay attention to the command line at the bottom and to use the dynamic input whenever it's helpful for you or use the prompts that are at the command line that can also develop the de desired dimensions that you want. We're going to take this frame that we've done here and we're going to show you in a subsequent lesson how to make a gate with that with our automatic gate program. Thank you.